Hey kids and welcome to today's lesson. I hope you guys are all keeping well and keeping safe and that school has been going well for you during this time. I know that uh, we're praying for you and many others at this church are praying for you that you're able to get the most out of school and that it's an enjoyable time. So today's lesson is all about how our actions can lead to other actions or lead to reactions. Um, or how our actions can inspire other people to do these same actions or similar actions. So a good way of imagining this is if you've uh, ever taken dominoes, those little rectangular tiles, or if you've ever taken uh, Jenga blocks or maybe even uh, some books and you've been able to stand them up so that they can knock each other over. Now. The, for this to work, you need to be able to push them or have something to knock them over and start the process of them uh, knocking over each other and knocking into e each other. Oh, hi Henry. How are you doing today? You doing pretty good? It's good to hear. What's up? You, you have a demonstration that shows what I'm talking about? And you want to show the kids? All right, well, that's awesome. Well, let's go join Henry and see what his demonstration is all about. All right, Henry. Are you all ready? Cool, so let, let's, let's go in. So as you can see, Henry has all of that set up. So yeah, let's get down into our starting position all right and then we're gonna we're gonna count Henry down so he can push it over all right ready three two one wow that's a uh... It's a pretty cool demonstration you made there, Henry. Here, do you want me to hold that for you? Yeah, it's a little heavy. Yeah, that was that perfectly showed what we're talking about. And as you saw in the demonstration, uh, Henry just needed to push over one of the Bibles for the whole process and for all those actions to take place. Yeah, well, thanks for doing that, Henry. It was really cool of you to stop by and help us out. You're going to go do that again and... Keep going to do that. Are you having fun with it? All right. Well, Henry, say bye to the kids, and then you can uh, go have more fun, I guess. All right. Well, as Henry is off to continue with his fun, I'm going to continue with the lesson. I'm just going to put this Bible pack down. So, yeah, as we saw with Henry's demonstration, uh, it took that one little push for that entire uh, process to start. And that also showed what's called a chain reaction, where one action, the pushing of the Bible over into the next one, caused that Bible to fall into the next one, and that into the next one, and so on and so forth, creating a chain of events or a chain of actions. Now, today's Bible passage is from a letter called first John and this is and this passage is also where we get our illustration from so here is today's illustration I hope y'all can read that uh, and it says we love because God first loved us so yeah it's a pretty nifty illustration there so What's cool is the author of this letter, or John, when he was writing this letter, letter, not leather, it's a little weird, uh, explains that this letter reminds us that love is a powerful chain reaction. When someone loves and cares for us, we learn how to love too. Our love grows when we share it with others. So per the first person loves us and cares for us. And then we see how that works so that we can go and love and care for others, hoping that that person 
can also learn to love and care for others and then they'll spread it to the next person and so on and so forth. Kind of like the dominoes where we pushed one and they all fell over. If we love and care for someone, hopefully that will continue to happen from person to person. So when they share, uh, when, yeah, when they share the love they receive from us, that love keeps going, as I've just said. Now, the Bible first for today gives us a bit of a clue to um, what started this or what put it in motion. Because as you saw with the dominoes, Henry started it by pushing it. But here we learn that because God loves us and cares for us, we are able to love and care for others and those around us. God set the chain reaction of love going by giving us love as a gift. And because God loves us, we become a part of that chain reaction, keeping and growing God's love for the world. And that's pretty cool if you ask me. All right, well, I'm going to pray, and then you guys can get on with your day. Dear God, thank you for loving us and starting the chain reaction of love. Show us how to keep your love going until every person knows you love and care about them. Pray this in your name. Amen. All right, kids, you take care, and I'll see you around.